TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, 30 minutes into the trading day, and we got markets off to a positive start so far. S&Ps right now positive by 16 points, trading at 27.96. You get the NASDAQ up 42 points, trading at 75.89. And the Dow up 68 points, trading at 25,193. Notes and bonds, we have lower price and higher yield this morning. The 10-year negative by 10 ticks at 125.10. You have the 30-year negative 17 ticks at 152.07. We've got gold right now basically flat, 12.80 and 20 cents. Oil up 10 pennies at 58.93, and the dollar index up 115 ticks at 98.145. Bitcoin as well holding steady, up 66 bucks, 87.12 in the price of Bitcoin. We'll start it off. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. So we trade higher for most of the overnight session. We reached those highs just prior to about 4 a.m. Eastern time in the futures market of 25,202. And we're basically right up at that price point as we speak. We got the June Dow 30 futures trading 25,196. NASDAQ 100, 72.63, making session highs as we speak. S&P 500, similar to the NASDAQ, session highs trading at 27.96, traded higher for most of the overnight session as well. Gold contract with some volatility to the upside. You got gold looking at the August contract here for gold, trading at 1285.45. There's your crude contract. We actually got up to 59. Where's that high? 59.67. Gunning for that $60 price point. But from there, we're back under $59.58. 93. We're going to get the EIA, I believe, this morning at 11 a.m. as a result of that Monday Memorial Day holiday. And Euro US dollar trading 111.25. In terms of what you have happening fundamentally this morning, first quarter GDP 3.1%, slightly better than what Wall Street had been expecting in terms of about 3%. So the economy seems to do, be doing well as we march on. Tesla getting a downgrade from Barclays, talking about $150. That not really hitting the stock this morning as Tesla is basically almost flat. You have Dollar General out with their earnings. Strong same-store sales up about 5-6%. We'll jump over to that chart in a moment. And you got the Boeing CEO finally coming out and personally apologizing. Not sure if that really is too redeeming at this stage in the game. But nonetheless, uh, we will go to Dollar General up 6.1%. Quite a number on their earnings. Stay tuned, folks. Come back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Live programming all day at TFNN. Have a great Thursday.